Okay, so we're going to start off now by scanning for the infraclavicular brachial plexus block. And I'm using a high frequency linear probe, which I'm initially going to place in a paramedian orientation. I'm going to place this probe so that the left hand side is kephalad, and that's resting right now on the clavicle. This is coming into pec major, and deep down here, you're going to find lung. So as I scan from medial, I'm actually placed my probe relatively medial. I'm going to slide from medial to lateral. I want you to watch what's happening down here. So as I slide the probe laterally, you're going to see the subclavian vein coming out, and then it's giving off the cephalic vein right the way over here. So this is the cephalic vein coming up. And then deep to that, you're going to see the axillary artery. So the axillary vein, or I called it subclavian, it's actually the axillary vein at this point. That's the axillary vein giving off the cephalic vein. And now we can see the axillary artery. So the first land, landmarks to, to point out, very small amount of adipose tissue, pec major, the pec minor muscle, and there's a pectoral branch of the thoracochromial artery lying in there. And deep to the pec minor muscle, you've got this axillary vein and axillary artery. Now I'm going to focus on getting the axillary artery in the center of the screen. And as I do that, you'll start to be aware of some really nice, beautifully visible structures over here. The first thing I want to point out is here, nice circular axillary artery. And then we've got some hyperechoic honeycomb-like structures lying here and here. When you're performing an infraclavicular brachial plexus block, the targets are the medial, the lateral, the posterior, and the medial cords of the brachial plexus. And beautifully demonstrated on the screen here now are the lateral cord, the posterior cord, which is lying exactly at six o'clock on the axillary artery, and the medial cord, which is actually lying between the axillary artery and the axillary vein. So this is actually picked up really nicely, but I can improve things if I bring the focal point slightly lower down. And if I just see if, what, what difference it makes if I remove that gain. So the auto gain actually does make a nice difference here. The focal point is where it should be. So at this point, we can very nicely demonstrate axillary artery, the lateral cord, the posterior cord, and the medial cord of the brachial plexus. If you were going to perform an infraclavicular brachial plexus block, you simply bring your needle in from the kephalad aspect of the probe, as you can see over here. You'd slide your needle down through pec major, through pec minor, and decide to come either kephalad or cordad of this, um, of this point over here, which is the lateral cord. Inject local anesthetic around the lateral cord, and then aim to get your needle tip at six o'clock on the axillary artery. When you inject local anesthetic, that part of the plexus, that posterior cord will drop right the way out of there, and you get a lovely U-shape appearance. If I point, get that pointer again, you get a lovely U-shape appearance of local anesthetic all the way around the axillary artery. That way you get lateral, posterior, and medial cord. Obviously, you'll notice you need to be careful of these vessels that are lying in the way. But this is a really nice block for upper limb, hand surgery, elbow surgery, because actually you can do it with the patient's arm abducted or by their side.